Microsoft is bringing Linux's sudo command to Windows 11. Yes, Microsoft sudo is a thing. There's even a GitHub, Microsoft slash sudo. What? This is insane. I know the whole Microsoft embraces Linux thing has been a meme for a while. This is the coolest I've ever seen it go. So what exactly is sudo on Linux? What's going on here? Take a look at what The Verge has to say, and then I want to dig into the repo of it, because it's interesting. Windows 11 will soon have a built-in sudo command designed for developers. Sudo, which is short for super user do, is widely used on Unix-based operating systems like Linux and Mac OS to run programs with higher security privileges or as another user. It's useful for developers wanting to test scripts, for example. It's very useful. All my videos are recorded with OBS on a PC. I'm on Windows more often than I'm on Mac, and as such, I have strong feelings about all of this. The Windows Terminal, which was somewhat recently added to Windows, has been a really nice addition. It started as a different project you would install through the App Store, and more and more it has become core to the developer experience on Windows, and now it's the default terminal in Windows 11. One of the many things it did better is that they bound a bunch of common commands that we expect from real operating systems in Windows, like CD. Yes, CD works in Windows Terminal. They just bound it for you. And this is necessary because Windows is its own special snowflake in Unix land. Every other operating system follows the same basic set of Unix commands. Windows just doesn't. And this is why so many things don't have good Windows support in the developer world, because the core itself is different. And as Microsoft tries to make it so developers can actually enjoy using Windows, they've done crazy things like Windows Subsystem for Linux, Windows Terminal, and now sudo. This was introduced in the most recent Windows Insider edition to let developers run elevated tools directly from an unelevated console session. There's a quote from an official product manager at Microsoft specifying that it's an ergonomic and familiar solution for users who want to elevate a command without having to first open a new elevated console. If you've ever followed a tutorial for making some fix or change on Windows, they almost always start with right click on PowerShell and click run as admin, which is just hilarious that in order to even do admin level stuff, you have to open the terminal a different way. This is a Windows-ism, and as silly as pseudo might sound, this is a huge, huge win for Windows developers. Again, they specify it's being tested as part of the latest canary. You also have to go enable it in settings. But once it's enabled, you're able to use this the same way you would use it in Linux, where you put it in front of a command and now that can be run in an elevated permission set. The repo is interesting. One of my favorite details is the about, which is literally just it's pseudo comma for Windows. I'm going to hit the star button because they only have 300 now. and I have a feeling this video is going to push it up pretty far. The link will be in the description if you want to give pseudo a star. Here you can report issues and file feature requests. We're in the process of open sourcing the code, so stay tuned for more updates. They have actually been making some progress with this. It's not a lot, but they have the initial command here and they're working on getting all the crazy PowerShell chaos necessary for this to work in the repo. It's cool to see how committed they are to open sourcing work like this. Although I will say something like this is so deeply intertwined with Windows and the terminal that it being its own project, it's gonna be interesting architecture wise, but I'll be keeping an eye on it for sure. They also talk about the relationship with sudo on Linux a little more in detail here, which is important because this could cause confusion. Let's read what they have to say. Obviously, the everything about permissions, the word the shouldn't be here. I can file a nonsense PR. I'm not going to do that, though. Obviously, everything about permissions and the command line experience is different between Windows and Linux. This project is not a fork or a port of the Linux sudo project. Instead, sudo for Windows is a Windows specific implementation of the sudo concept. As the two are entirely different applications, you'll find that certain elements of the Linux sudo experience are not present in sudo for Windows, and vice versa. Scripts and documents that are written for Linux sudo may not be able to be used directly with sudo for Windows without some modification. This is another good call out, because a lot of the other efforts they've done have made it so I could copy commands for, like, I don't know, FFmpeg, which I can use fine in every operating system but Windows, and with certain changes to how paths are resolved, suddenly the same FFmpeg commands work in Windows, which is really nice. I don't think there are many times where I want to elevate the privileges of a command I'm running, and the command is the same on Windows as it is on Linux and Mac. I can't think, as I sit here, of pseudo commands that would be identical in Linux and Windows, but I can think of scenarios that are very similar where I want to elevate the one command that I'm running, which is again what's so exciting about this change. Change. No longer will you have to right click run as admin to install chocolatey. Now you just add sudo in front. This is something that Windows arguably needed even more than other operating systems. And I'm excited to see the work they're putting into it. They've even put up documentation, which is exciting to see to have this as early as it is. But it's mostly just how you enable it and a little bit of like what it does and how it works. Interesting that one of the options is to force a new window. So when you run sudo, it will 
run the command itself in a different window so that it's still following the traditional Windows rules of elevated terminals are their own separate instance. They also have an interesting option of input closed where it will run that background window, but you can't make any changes to it, which is useful if you want to be sure the user doesn't do anything when the process is running. And obviously they have a more traditional inline, which is normal mode, which just runs the same way sudo does in other places where it stays in the window, in the terminal, in the instance you're in now and just elevates this one command that you run. But as they call out here, there are associated security risks, which is a good call out because Windows does not have the best security. And this is likely to be a bit more problematic for Windows users than it was for other operating systems. But I'm genuinely curious to see how this goes. It's nice to see Microsoft putting so much effort into the developer experience on Windows. It's been a while since I could honestly recommend working in Windows as a developer, but these efforts are really helping push things forward. Shout out to all the devs working on this. I'm excited to see sudo in the future. And yeah, that's sudo on Windows. Till next time, peace nerds.